Venezuela's in battle President Nicolas Maduro has rejected a European ultimatum that gave him eight days to call new elections amid the chaos there. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our No Adam. So, Adam, pressure keeps piling on Maduro, but it appears pretty clear now that he's not going down without a fight. That's right, Mark. The UK and four other European nations said they would formally recognize the head of Venezuela's parliament, Juan Guaido, as the legitimate president. If that happens, they would be joining the US and a host of other nations that have already done so. In an interview with CNN Turk, Maduro accused Europe of, quote, kneeling before US President Donald Trump. Europe has had a very insolent position, not sustainable, unpresentable and must withdraw its ultimatum. All of Europe is kneeling before Donald Trump. It's that simple, especially in the Venezuelan issue. Maduro has accused Washington of leading an imperialist intervention in his country. He is the backing of such nations, uh, of nations such as Russia, China and Iran, who have all expressed similar sentiment. But far more countries are backing Guaido, who has declared himself interim president. The opposition leader is also stepping appeals for Venezuela's military to turn against the socialist leader. Venezuelan soldiers, I'm speaking to you. It's a time to get on the side of the Constitution. It's not the time to fear. It's not the time to back out. While well, small rebellions against Maduro have broken out in Venezuela's armed forces in recent months, there has not yet been any large-scale military uprising against him. The Venezuelan political crisis has now become the stage for international tensions with heated exchanges at the UN Security Council over the weekend regarding the situation.